Hello, this is Rob from Rims Models. Uh, this is my final reveal of the Mini Arts Tram X, which is this one. Here. And there's your number there. So, just before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, all your kind comments as well. We really do appreciate them all. So we'll take a look, I'll show you what I've used as we go along as well. So let's spin it, it's a bit too heavy for my turntable so I'll go deep. My hand. Oops. Like I said, I'll show you what I've used in a bit. But it's been a great build. No problems at all with the fit. Plenty of parts as well. Okay. Now this is a. I'll show you. I'll show you now. So when I did the tram, oops. The first thing I done, I undercoated it. I primed it with this. Here. The mig shot. One shot there, grey. So the whole lot, the whole of the tram was primed in that. Then all the black parts there was this here rubber black XF85. So all the bottom off, all that was black. He's done that. He's out of that there XF85. These bits here, the springs, and these bits. Are all good metal, which is this one X10. So I did all that there. All the these parts here are gun metal. The roofs are gun metal as well. But what I done, I sprayed it the gun metal first, then I did a modulation. So I just made it a bit lighter in the middles and that. I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you lift the camera up and show you. Right so I've done that. That's red. The red is that. XF7. So all the red parts is that colour. Then I masked it off and all this top part here is that there. XF59. So that was all painted then. But the glass, if you say, <coughs> look at my update before this, you'll, I'll show you how what I've used, paint, how I painted it and that. But the I managed to lay the glass out and put that in after. So I painted it all first. And then put the glass in. And then glued the roof on. But I used that Gorilla Glue, the clear one. I ain't got it to hand to show you. Well that's what I used for that. The decals went down pretty easy as well. Then what I've done then, the red parts I did the filter. So I used me goldless thinner and that there crimson red. So I made a filter out of that and then I did a filter of that in the top half I did a filter. I don't know why you can see it. Well, that's actually dark brown oil brusher. Dark brown. Again, mixed with odorless thinner. Then I've done that. Then I've done some streaking. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. With some very slight streaking. There, and for the streaking, I used a combination of dust, dust and buff. So I've done that. <coughs> I did the streak in there and then I did it I did the ping wash out of that dust and buff all around the bottom. I did a ping wash there. The top I did the ping wash at this. So all the roofing up was done out of Starship filth. 
again mixed with the Aldless Finna. So I'll do that all that over the top. <clears throat> and then I did the dry brushing on all the edges. I'll show, like I said, I'll show you in a bit. So that was dry brushed. Give a bit of a light, a light silver it is like. And just make it out, can't. Yeah, so I've done all that around the edges, all the high points here on the handles, the top of the lights was all done in that colour. And then <clears throat> I did I dry brush these rivets as well here, just to make them stand out a bit. And I did it all around the bottom as well. Use the same colour all around the bottom. I dry brush the same. The handles here and here is gunmetal. Yeah, the mirrors as well, the mirrors are gunmetal. <clears throat> I'll turn it round to the front here, front view. As you can see. Beautiful kit, no problems at all. Like I said, the decals are no problem. There's no, there's no um, gloss or anything. No matte, nothing. No varnish, nothing. I've just left it matte. Right. So that's the tram. The lamppost again. I did the brown first, which was the X. Where's it gone? XF64. So that was the base colour. Then I did the chipping fluid. There. Make heavy chipping. And then the actual green was that colour. XF26. And then obviously I got, got the water and chipped it. Well, I'll show you all this on the on the update. The update before this one. I'll show you how I've done it. So that's what I've done there with them. Oops, they got too big for me. There's a front, another front view. Like that. Right, I'll leave that there. The gates, the, the fencing, again. Oops, brown chipping fluid. And then what I've done then, I sprayed it. I haven't got it to hand here, have I? Where's it gone that? That XF60. I chipped it and then I went out with a rust watch, a rust wash, and that's the effects I got there. So that's what I've done on the tram. The gates, I've just said, the base, I primed it black first, and then I sprayed it. What colour did I use? XF53, I think it was. And I sprayed the the whole lot with that first, and then I highlighted some bricks. I had a lighter lighter browns and dark and sorry lighter greys and darker greys. But I show I show all that what I do on on the the painting bit. Then. I've got the MIG ammo leaves as well and I've just scattered some of them about and these are grass tufts as well and then in between the bricks I'll show you in a sec I've just uh, diluted a PVA glue with water and I'll just let it run in the joints and then I did this I use this Jarvis Heath Green and all I did is just sprinkled it in the joints and then lift it up, dust it off and it leaves it all in the joints and let me show you that there as you can see then with the leaves I've got different colours there. there's your grass tufts I'll show you the pigments I've used in a sec There. There's 
the grass in between. Once right, so I put that down. So that's what I've done on the base. I'll bring it round and show you this. Right. So there's the lamp post. Really nice detail. There's the roof. You can just make out the pin wash and the way I've done the dry brushing as well. I'll bring it round in a minute. I'll, we'll see if we can see the inside. There's the, the dry brush rivets as well. Right, I'll put this down a sec. And I'll bring it round to the front then. Whoops. Oh, this is what I missed out on the roof. After I painted it, I, I did a filter, uh, which is Panzer Grey. Okay. Yeah, it's blue for Panzer Grey. So that's what I've done there. The pigments are these two. Yeah, I'll just mix the two together and then just dry brushed it on. Uh, what else did I do? The inside of the lights on the front was done in that. And also I sprayed the tracks as well, that colour. And then I'll bring it in now, so you can see the inside. You can just make it out. If I hold it there, and I'll bring you in. Oops. There, as you can just make it out. And there you go. There's all the dry the rivets all the way in on the bottom as well. I'll zoom you back out. So that's it. That's me that's me tram finished. Uh, like I said it's been a great build. No problems at all and there's no issues with fit. Uh, it's great. I just wish I'd have got some figures to put with it, but they do do another one that comes with the the figures in it. So I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna do another one, and then I'll put the I'll I'll paint the figures and put them in it. But I've started I've started uh, my next build now. If you've missed it, it look back the couple of videos and you'll see the mini art T run for with the dozer blade so that's made a start on that but if you're thinking of getting this kit don't hesitate it's it's worth it it's all I'd say apart from the the fence there and the, the wires let me show you the wires here and this little bit there the rest of it's built straight out of the box. The base come with it as well, and obviously all the whole of the tram. That's all. That's all I've I've had to supply was the fence and the the wires. The the two poles come with it as well. The two telegraph poles. So that's where that's it finished. So thanks for looking, and I'll see you on the next update.